Today's video is how to export music and playlists from Recordbox Desktop to Recordbox Mobile. What I've got on screen here is uh, X Mirage uh, casting my iPad screen onto my laptop so you're able to see what's going on on there without needing for an external camera. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is connect both of your devices to the same network, the same wireless network or wired network uh, for the, the computer or laptop. And once you've done that, tap connect on the mobile and it asks you to make sure that you're on the same network and to click on this little guy here. That mobile device icon will search for your device and then ask if you want to connect. We say yes and the first time you do this on your mobile device it will actually confirm there for security as well. Now that I've seen my iPad listed in the device list I can go and find the test playlist I want to export and you can see I've stored three hot cues on this uh, this track. What we're going to do is export all these tracks, modify them, and then re-import them to show that it will actually update my collection. So let's right-click on the playlist. I say export to my iPad. It has done that, and you can see now it's exporting. Here's 25%. So my progress bar within Recordbox, and then on the iOS device, you can see it's uh, bringing those over. So now that it's complete, I can check. There's my tracks, there's my playlist. Now let's disconnect and actually take a look on the device itself and see. I go to prepare, go to playlist. There's my playlists. So I want to open up this guy and now you can see there are my, my hot cues. Uh, so what we're gonna do is actually delete hot cue B and let's just go down in here Grab it, and you know it almost doesn't matter where I set it. Let's uh, let's queue here, and I'm going to set a memory point. Now I'm going to go back up to the top level of the app. I'm going to click oh, click on connect, and do the same thing on record box. Click yes, and now what I want to do is right click on my device and say update collection. Now what that's done is you can even see it while the track was loaded in my player in record boxes it's removed the B point and added my memory point. Likewise if I were to go and add another uh, another hotkey back in here let's say I wanted to put another point in or made another memory point uh, I can do this again by re-exporting my collection so export playlist again to my iPad and it says it already exists and all it's going to change is it's going to update with that B point. So again, I'm going to disconnect, go over to my iPad, go to prepare, playlist, open up the test, the track I've modified, and there it is. There's the B point is now showing there. So it's very easy to go back and forth updating your content and updating your, your tracks on an iPad iOS device. It's as easy as that. And if you have any other questions, just leave us a note in the forums. We'll be happy to help you out. I'm Pulse with Pioneer.